Well, I think the only problem is that people often use it um, willy-nilly, and they forget that you're only supposed to use it after the horizon. So you got to first determine how far your horizon is, and then start using that calculation. But where's but but there's no curve after the horizon, so what's the point of using it? And you look at it at a certain angle, and it appears to curve. That's an optical illusion. I don't care what you say. Well, you're right about that. That's why the pictures are not really my, uh, you know, I mean, they're nice to look at. But I do like Jesse Kozowski's data, and I have been. Um, well, that was on, easy. I have been working on Jesse's data and uh, breaking down the curve that is supposedly within that. I've looked at three points before and found that one was way higher than the two ends. But I'm actually looking at all the points on, and on that bridge now. Measurements, that's mathematical representations. Well, those are physical measurements, believe it or not. They're physical measurements of the precise locations on the bridge. That's as physical as you can get. Okay, you, the transformation to get a curve has to be mathematical because all you're going to do, if you get on the causeway on the west side and you drive across, there's your distance. And if you go to the middle and you measure your elevation from the water, there's your elevation. I don't know why you guys can't understand that all you're doing is distance and elevation. The curvature has to be mathematically converted. There's no, there's no, there's no conversions. There's no, there's no, there's no conversions. There's no, there's no, there's no conversions. It's literally just X, Y, Z point. No, 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 X, no, no. X, Y, Z is length, width, height. There's no curvature there. You're right, yeah. It's length, width, and height. And it's a three-dimensional uh, a grid. In, within that volume, however, depending on where the points are, those points could be a straight line, or those points could represent a curve. It just depends on where the points are. Well, they, they definitely do use mathematical equations when trying to work things out using their GPS coordinates. It's 100%. Yeah. Listen, ha uh -huh. okay. And it's programmed into them too. No. So look, I'm okay, not... just real quick. I'm sorry, just real quick. So if you and I have an XYZ point, right? If I'm on, if I'm on the west side, can you hear me okay? Yep. If I'm on the west side of the causeway and you're on the east side and uh, Rocky is in the middle, so we have now three, three points, okay? We all have the same elevation. The only way that you're going to get a curve in there is to insert a, vari a value from outside of those measurements. We have X, Y, Z, boom. When you want to then draw a point to point a line between each of those points if you're going to get a curve you have to add something that you're bringing in from the outside you have to assume yeah. a rate you have to assume a radius that's where the confusion comes in because it's exactly backwards to what you said the elevation is not part of the original measurement the elevation is the after uh after you get the xyz and then you um, use the radius and model it on the keyboard. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and, then, and then you use the radius. Yeah, yeah you don't, then you, you use don't, the radius at the end. What the yeah, fuck? Listen, exactly listen to what, what I'm saying. saying. Hold on, hold on. Only then do you get the elevation. But before that, you already have the XYZ. You don't need anything outside of, uh, of the positions um, of the distances. Except for the there. radius. He's talking about no, no, elevation above. He's talking about elevation above the, uh, the center of the Earth being added at the end. Kosho is instead of yeah, elevation not... being the mean sea level, which is Jesse's original data. That's why I just deviated yeah. from this 5.14 for miles. No curve. Yeah, that, that's given after the. That's not. That's not given before the the measurement. It's, that's given after you have the XYZ and then you transfer it onto a G word. There's no, there's, no, there's no conversions. That's, that's given after you have the XYZ and then you transfer it onto a G word. That's, that's given after you have the XYZ and then you transfer it onto a G word. That's, that's given after you have the XYZ and then you transfer it onto a G, there's no, there's no onto a G Before you do that, you don't have the elevation and you don't have anything except for the, 
the position. Wait, where did they transfer it onto a geoid? Yep, that's what they yeah, did. There's no, no conversion. Yeah, that's what GPS does. Okay, this listen is... to me very carefully, Kosho. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm t Listen, you are doing exactly what I said. You're bringing in an external system. There is no fucking geoid, right? I'm not, have dude, I was, I was, I'm not in the geoid. I'm not doing that. I'm only using XYZ. I'm not using elevation. You brought that in. I'm not bringing in elevation. I'm not bringing in a geoid. I'm only using the XYZ. The positions that you they give you. Just referred to the geoid. You just referred to the geoid a moment ago. I'm telling you that what you just said was backwards, because you don't get the elevation and then use something outside to get these XYZ positions and try to make a straight line. My elevation, my my elevation, is from the surface of the water. But I meant, well, then that's not a measurement from, uh, from the GPS. Though. What? Okay. Okay. That's, that's what I'm saying. The measurement that the GPS has is an imposition of a mathematical expression for something outside of an XYZ coordinate system. No. Well, no, see, that's the thing. What are you saying now? Because that's all that it is. It's only using XYZ coordinate system. Your computer tries to trans translate it into something else, but all it's giving you is your position in the XYZ grid. Is the is the software for this GPS is it, is it open software? Can anyone get access to the actual software that the GPS uses to plot these coordinates? Yes, it, it is. It is. Yeah, because it's uh, not. That, you don't. You don't, you don't need well, software. To use. I, I'm not asking about using it, I'm asking about the actual software and what equations are in the software that determine the coordinate system that it is plotting. Okay. That's in the, but, they, send you, they send you a message and in that message is the location of the satellite and all this uh, other type of stuff. Sure, and uh, sure. you, you have to translate it into a specific file type. There has to be software in this and there has to be equations in it okay then now it'd be very easy to determine what's in that software and if there is in actual fact any r value in there of any way shape or form right because if there is an r value when a surveyor is asked to to um plot a dead straight horizontal line from a tangent point, right? And can he do it? And his answer is yes, but I would have to take out of the GPS readings, right? The curvature of the earth. That should be very easily verified that. Shouldn't it? Sure. Exactly right. Yeah. What I'm, what I'm trying to tell you is that you don't need a. So your phone or your device, whatever, it, it has software in it that will take 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 the information that you're getting, the raw data, translate it into the Orion file, and then translate that into uh, spherical coordinates. But mm -hmm. you you could without buying any software at all, just um. You know, if you had the correct antenna to pick up the signal, you could pick up the signal and take the information that you're getting from the satellites and uh, pinpoint your uh, distance, or at least at least gather your distance from it yourself, and then pinpoint your location based on uh, uh, you know the other two measurements. Well, there should be no conversion. There, there, there should be no conversion at all of any sort of R value at all. It should just plot it. And then you should just be able to lay it out and bang, there you go. Well, yeah, but the thing is the coordinates that it gives you, the XYZ coordinates, the origin point of that uh, grid system is the uh -huh. center of magnet. So uh -huh. because it's the center, of it, you can use that distance from, that you are yeah. from the origin point. Yeah. You can, you can so, uh, Using the same GPS that Jesse used, if he did it on top of the water all the way across the length of the bridge, 24 miles. Would the measurement say the exact same until he converted it? Uh, I mean, I, I have it in front of me, actually. It was about five meters 
almost close to six meters almost the whole time. It changed, he didn't changed measure the, the water. He didn't measure the huh? water. Yeah, I know, but it's it gives what, the elevation. So it would remain the same roughly, 5.1 something meters all the way across. So if you didn't measure the humps of the bridge, the bridge would remain the same, 5.1 off the water consistently, right? For the ele for the elevation measurement, yeah. Correct. So where does where is it curving at again? Um, well, the the elevation curves with the earth, so the elevation can be consistent and earth still curving. Like the elevation comes from the radius, which, like I said, is the distance from the origin. You can keep the distance from the origin the same and go around in a complete circle. So that's not uh, this doesn't that doesn't show anything if the elevation is consistent. You're measuring from a zero point. He had to set a benchmark somewhere by that bridge. He set his he set it to zero, whatever whatever benchmark he used, and then he measured all the way across the bridge, and he got zero elevation change from that benchmark going 24 miles. That's not a curve, sir. Well, I mean, like, like I just said, you can have an origin at the center of a, of a grid. You can make it the same distance, let's say five meters, six meters, go all the way around that grid in a circle. You just want the complete circle, and you never want more than five meters. You didn't so, listen to a word I said, did you? Where's his yeah, zero point? Okay, then where's his yeah. zero point at? Where's that location? In front of the bridge. For the beginning of the bridge. So not the center of the earth then, right? Uh, no, he gets the number, the elevation number. That's not what I asked. The, it's zero point. Well, it's not I'm the center quick. of the earth, right? Um, yeah, the zero point is the five meters. The zero point that you're talking about for the elevation is the five or six meters, which is just the radius subtracted no, from the no, radial. No. I can no. show, I have the data here in front of me. I can show it. Yeah, you got the 5.1, but where was his zero point? I have both where was 0. 0. 0.0000 at? Where he measured 5.1 above the zero point. Where was that zero point at, Coach O? Why are you avoiding this simple I, I, I question? Answered, I answered the question. I don't understand why you're still asking. Is that the front oh, of the so, bridge? So at the base of the bridge, the zero point was there, right? Yeah, I wouldn't. I mean, I don't call it a zero point, but it's the very first point, and it's five. <laughs> five it's zero point zero zero zero. What would no. you call it? No, the, or, the origin point is at the center of the Earth. He didn't create the zero point. No, the sir. Zero point yes, he did. He had to have, or he couldn't have gotten five point one above the zero point. No, that the elevation that he has doesn't come from uh, the raw data. It comes from after the uh, data translates to the spherical coordinates. That's not true. Yeah, that's not true. It, it doesn't give you a, from a zero point. No, you can't get the elevation from uh, from the raw data. You can only get it after you translate it to, uh, to oh zero. Oh my god. Okay, when you measure, you set a zero point. That's your benchmark, and you measure up and down from that zero point. You said the zero point was at. The base of the bridge, and then he went across the bridge, and most of it was 5.1 above that zero point. Equal elevation above that zero point. That's not curve, sir. Well, the way you described it is not how his measurements were taken. Like he doesn't, he doesn't mark any points as a zero point. So he starts. He has a first point. You, you just told me a zero point was at the base of the bridge. Well, yeah, I was, I was answering your questions. I thought you, you were asking what was the first point. It's the first point he's saying, but he doesn't have a, a point that he... I didn't ask you where his first point was. I asked you where his 0. 0.000 baseline was, and you said at the foot of the bridge. He doesn't, he, he doesn't have that. He doesn't have that. Let, me, let me ask you a real quick question. I'm sorry, Rakia. Let me ask you a real quick question, uh, Kosho. If Rakia and uh, Jesse were out on this bridge, would they have the same... Uh, 5.1 measurement or whatever that measurement is. Oh, like if Rakia measured it, if Rakia went with like a, a meter stick and like measured the water to the to the bridge and then Jesse went and just used it, whatever method he did, I would assume they would be uh, fairly consistent. I think Rakia's would be more accurate. All right, so guess what you can eliminate from Jesse's uh, measurement? 
Little guess what, Jesse? Guess what, Jesse doesn't need to get the same fucking answer that Rakia got. Uh, what can center we of the here? earth bullshit radius. He doesn't need the center of the earth bullshit radius, man. Wake the fuck up. Okay, well that's the way he did it, though. So it he doesn't, doesn't matter. Have if he, no, didn't. he doesn't no, he have didn't. to. He doesn't have to. I'm looking at I'm looking at his GPS data right now, like literally right now. So it is how he did it, and it doesn't matter if he could have done it a different way. This is the way he did it. Tell me again that the GPS readings convert it to um, whatever radius you give it, right? There's no, there's no, there's no conversions. After you take the measurement, tell me that again, Kosho. Maybe, maybe you misspoke. No, yeah, you don't get the elevation until after you convert the uh, your data into the, the spherical data. It is no, there's no, there's no conversion. It is no, there's no, there's no conversions. It is no, there's no, there's no conversions. No, yeah, you don't get the elevation until after you convert the uh, your data into the uh, uh, spherical data. Convert. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah, that's how you. That's how. That's how you get spherical. That's the only way you get spherical coordinates. You just have to translate them from Cartesian coordinates to spherical coordinates. It is no, there's no, there's no conversions. I don't even know what, I mean, you, you can't, you can't, you can only point out the sophistry. You can't like correct it or fight yeah. against it. That's what it's built to do. So yeah, Coach, yeah, I'm looking, gonna, I mean, you if you guys, if you guys aren't like, looking at da his data, then you're just making stuff up. I'm actually looking at his data. No, we're not making stuff up, <laughs> Kosho. No, it, it's just, it's a simple, it's a simple bait and switch. Okay, you're simply eliminating the elevation from the surface of the water to the last move. It, that's, that's regardless of the way that I described it at the very beginning, because we take the elevation from the surface of the water right away. Okay, so at the beginning of all of this... Okay, so my connection was dropping out, but I'm reiterating the fact that the only way to get curvature is to bring in, to convert one system to another one. They don't measure curvature ever, ever, ever. It's always a conversion from one system to the next. In order for you have to bring in, putting off the, um, the to the end, and you're putting in the value that in order to get your, your radius curvature, you have to bring in an outside value. That has what nothing to do. So, what? But what's the outside value? The radius, man. That's not an outside value, Travis. That's actually the coordinate system that these GPSs are working on. Okay, okay. They listen very carefully. Now, it's not an outside number. Listen very carefully. When we do X, Y, Z on the surface of the Earth, that's a physical fucking measurement. Your radius is not. No one's ever measured the radius. It's a concept. So as I told you, this number is the origin. You don't have to think of it as a radius. It's not, it's not used as the radius in what uh, I'm using it as. It's not used as the radius in what, what I'm measuring. It's simply the distance your point is from the origin. So, where's the origin? Where's the origin in your uh, model, Kosho? It'd be the center of uh, the center of the what do you call it? The satellites. The center of the uh, constellation of satellites. So it's about the center of mass. What? The, it's the center of what <laughs> mass, Kosho? Of the Earth. Great. So if you draw a line from the center of the Earth, what's that called, Kosho? You draw a line from the center of the Earth to where you are, your distance yeah. from the center of the Earth. What's that called? It's your distance to the center of the Earth. If you're if you're trying oh, to the get radius. Me, the radius. So that you or your argument makes sense for some reason. I'm not using this as the radius. I'm not saying that. That's uh, what it fucking is. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Uh, wh what's your point? I mean, you're saying that it's, it's it's an outside number when it's not it's not some outside number that you're using in this in this regard. It's used as the so, as the number that is the origin I, to the grid that you're using. I explained what I meant by an outside uh, number. Do you remember how I explained what what I meant by an outside number? 
Yeah, you're saying that, yeah, when you're doing measurements on the surface, you're, you're taking the measurements right there. This is some uh, some other arbitrary number. Where, or... that, that wasn't measured, that was not physically measured. Except for in this case, it is measured. It's not measured as the radius, it's measured as the origin to where these uh, signals are coming from. Not physically. Conceptually, yes. But not physically, Kosho. Mm. Well, it's as physical as any other GPS measurement you or anyone else has ever taken. So, call it what you like, but it gives you the correct answer. So, I don't know what to tell you. It's not, it's not some arbitrary made-up number. It's the center of the grid system that's being used to tell I, you your okay. position. And let's, let's just be, okay, let's just be clear. That straw man, I'm going to call out. I didn't say it was arbitrary, okay? I didn't say that. It's very mathematical. It's very precise. I will give you that. I did not say it was arbitrary. I said it was conceptual. So I mean, that's what I'm saying. So you're saying something that's both conceptual and precise. It's conceptual and uh not been measured but it's precise so that's why it's confusing to me because it seems like if it's precise then it has been measured and the measurement is actually uh i i, I know when when you're used to talking baby talk and someone talks to you like an adult it might be a bit confusing at first you have to learn to talk like a grown-up kosho you are talking in baby talk gibberish about a concept, goo goo ga ga, curvature, radius, satellite, distance, blah blah, whatever, man. That's all baby talk gibberish. Okay, well then tell me, how is it both precise and correct in, in the nature of giving us correct positions, but also conceptual and not measured? <laughs> it's mathematical. You have representations of a concept with numbers. Those numbers can and do make sense in that conceptual model. If I decided to spend my time and write out a new language, I could make it make sense, even though it's conceptual. And it will be precise and it will be consistent within the framework that I created it. Not hard, However, Kosho. The framework that we're discussing isn't an imaginary one. It's the framework that we all live in. So that's the part that I'm having trouble with. If it's not an imaginary framework and the, it gives me the correct answer, it's in reality. I just, okay. Here we, okay, here we go. Rakia and Jesse have the same value for the height of the bridge. Let's just call it 5.3. Rakia didn't need to baby talk goo goo concept curvature to get that value. That means that that goo goo gaga concept value can be eliminated, which then takes away your cover to. Yeah, wait, how does that mean it can be eliminated? <laughs> it just means that there's two methods to get the correct value. That's all it means. And you don't, and you don't need cover to to get your value. You can leave it alone, leave it, never talk about it. The earth is not curved. Uh, Rakia has the same X, Y, Z coordinates above ground that Jesse Kozlowski has. Yeah. And stop asserting all the time that that's the framework that we live in. We don't live in a curved framework that you're asserting. I didn't say we did. I, didn't say we did. I said we live in the framework and we're... I said we live in the framework where GPS gives you the correct location, your correct location. It's yeah. not conceptual, conceptual and, and framework. You're, and you're asserting that that is... That's not what you said anyway. Yeah. But if you yeah. want to restate it like that and make yourself not have said that, that's exactly. fine. That's exactly. not what, what you said. Yeah, yeah so maybe that's the way you meant to say it, but that's not <laughs> what you said, and that's why he said that, stop doing it. It was correct, and it was conceptual, but it, was, it gives you precise... Uh, you know results, and I said, "Yeah, well, that framework, that framework, that that in that regard, which is GPS framework, is representing positions on Earth." 
Well, so I, I, I heard what you said. You know what you said. I'm just pointing it out to the ladies and gentlemen in the audience, just to make mental note uh, of what you said. What did I say, what did I say about curvature? When I, we didn't say any, we weren't even talking about that. We mm. literally weren't talking about. Oh, we we're talking about the grid system and what it's applied to. I know what you implied, and so do you. Yeah, I wasn't implying anything except that GPS works, and it's not. It's not working. It's not working because it's conceptual, and uh, it's working because it's representing reality. Move on. I made my point. We can move on. What happened?